In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Nintendo Switch emulator on Android called Citron. The phone I will be using is a Samsung Galaxy S24 FE paired with a GameSir G8 Galileo controller. If you like this controller, I will leave the Amazon link in the description below. Okay, let's head on over to the official Citron GitHub page. The link to this page will be found in the comments. Once you are here, go ahead and scroll down. Until you see your downloads. And the file you wanna download is right here. Go ahead and tap on it. It's gonna tell you that the file might be harmful, but there is nothing to worry about. Download anyway. Go ahead and open. Do you want to install this app? Install. When it's done, open. Go ahead and accept the legal disclaimer. Get started. Grant permission to turn on notifications. Allow. Now we have to add our keys to the emulator. And I am sorry guys, I cannot tell you where to get keys, nor will I be able to tell you where to get Switch ROMs. But if you wanna check out my Patreon page, link in the description, I will have a video there that can help you out. Select keys. Now I have created a folder on my phone called keys where I have my key files. To get to your folders, you wanna come up here to the top left, click on the three lines. Scroll down till you find the name of your phone, in my case, Shandell's S24 FE. And my keys folder is right here. Now when you download your keys file, it will not look like what you're seeing on screen now. The file will have to be extracted to get these two files. Now I suggest using a PC to extract your keys as well as your ROMs. If you don't know how to extract files, I will leave my 7-zip setup guide in the description below. And if you don't have a PC, then you can use this app here called 7-zipper that will allow you to extract files on your phone. Now the file we wanna select is the prod.keys file. Key successfully installed. Now we can add our games to the emulator. Add games. Now I have my games in another folder called switch ROMs. So I'm gonna tap on my device. And here's that folder I created, Switch ROMs. And I have a few Switch ROMs in here. And as I said earlier, remember, when you get your Switch ROMs, they must be extracted to be playable in the Citron emulator. Use this folder. And allow. Tap on Deep Scan. OK. And we are done. Continue. And there we are. We are in the emulator. And as you see, my games are being displayed. Now let's go over here to the top left, click on the gear icon, go to advanced settings, system, and where it says limit speed, we're gonna turn this off. This way Citron will take full advantage of the power of our phones. But if you have the latest and greatest Android phone with a powerful processor, then you can go ahead and turn on dock mode. My phone has the Exynos 2400 processor, which isn't the most powerful processor, but it's pretty decent. Now, if your phone has the latest Snapdragon processor, you will get the best performance possible with this emulator. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Let's go back, go down to graphics, now for the resolution, if you did turn on dock mode, then the resolution on the right is what you're gonna be running at. If you left it off, then your resolution is on the left. So by default, it's gonna put you at one time 720p handheld and 1080p docked. Now for my processor, some games will run smooth at 1080p, but for more demanding games, I will have to turn down to 810p and sometimes even 540p to get decent performance and high frame rates. The games I have installed run fine at 1080p. Everything else here, we're gonna leave at default settings. Let's go back back again and let's go over to controls player one now if you do have a controller connected to your phone as i do the emulator will not automatically set up your controller you will have to go through and set up all of your buttons so all you want to do is tap on the button you're ready to set up so we can start with the a button just tap on it and then hit whatever button on your controller you want to be the a button B button, 
whatever button you want to be B, X, and so on. Go through, set up all of your buttons. Once you are done, go back, back. Now right here where it says GPU driver manager, this option is only available for people that have a Snapdragon processor. So in my case, it's not an option. Now if you wanna install the latest firmware, we scroll down a bit, you will see manage Citron data. And then over here, you will see install firmware. Now I don't have the latest firmware file on my phone, but if I did, I would search for it the same way I did my games and key files. You would go to your device's name and then search for wherever you have your firmware file. And the same thing for any updates or DLC files. Now we can go ahead and load up a game. Now you will notice when you first load up a game, even if you're using a controller, you will still have on-screen touch controls. To get rid of these, you wanna swipe from the right side of your screen, hit the back button, and then over here, you will see overlay options. And you have the option to turn off your FPS counter, as well if you scroll down, you will see show overlay. So we're gonna turn off the show overlay and I'll leave the FPS on. Thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.